Um, just giving a little run through on what exactly EFT is for those who are new to the group this week. There are quite a few. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> I have been singing about this everywhere, everywhere that I've been. I've been saying, oh, I'm going live, t- tapping for uncertainty. Um, and I had quite a few new people come and join the group. So just running through what exactly you'll be doing this afternoon for anyone who's like what have I done um so it's just a way of processing the emotions and when we hold heavy emotions when we hold anxieties and stresses within our body it can literally make us ill um so it gets it gets within our things like a heart which is like the heart is where all of our emotions really can get stuck the most and our heart is a massive electromagnetic field bigger than the brain the electromagnetic energy that comes from our heart is so much greater than that which comes from our brain this is measurable now on scans and things um and when things get stuck here it can cause all sorts of other um problems either physical or mental we can just yeah so it's a lot more explained in depth in the what is it what is EFT video uh, but I was just explain why I choose EFT as a modality to work with within my holistic practices and it is because when the emotions are blocked when we are not freely expressing our emotions which so many of us don't do because we're a bit scared of them um or because we don't want to be negative then they can get stuck and they can get stuck in the body and they can have a effect on our physical health and right now, we kind of all want to have good physical health, don't we? Uh, good immunity, and it can all be affected by these things. <sighs> Mind yourself, getting stressed does more harm. Exactly, exactly. And when you've got immune situations or your immune system is compromised, it, it, this is the time to find, to know, and find all the ways that this anxiety, stress, worry, none of that is helping. So get tapping every day because let's shift them emotions through and away, give them a voice, let them be present, know that they're there, um, journal about it, write about it, get them out um, to allow the space then for, so this is what I found in my journaling practice, is when I, I write, you know, how I'm feeling and what's making me feel really horrible, um, at any given time not just over this but at any time it allows the space for the clearer ideas and the more positive ideas coming through um because they are they're where that's where our creativity lies that's how we get through it that's where we get through it that is just how we change the whole paradigm and the situation from one of like it being really horrible and not feeling very good to be in well what can we make out of this right now we're going to close our eyes i'm just going to sit in the body sink down uncross arms uncross legs sit and feel yourself present in your body right now right here in this moment and take a nice deep breath in When you think of the uncertainty that is around you right now, right in this moment, how is that making you feel? On a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is really just the worst feeling ever, most anxious, most even terrified, and 1 is, you know, you're like truly at peace, truly like okay with it all everything's fine you know you're going to get through it um not being one what number comes up when you just sink into your body and take a deep breath and what number is the number that comes up let me write these in the comments while we're going through it okay and when you sit there and you take that nice deep breath where does it get stuck in your body? Or where do you feel it in the in your body? Is there an ache? Is there a sensation? Is there uh, is there any pain? 
that comes through. Where do you feel that feeling, that that number? Where do you feel it in your body? And what specific emotion comes up as well for you? Is there a specific emotion that comes through? Is there seven? Nine for Carol, seven for Beth. I'm just writing in the comments now. Uh, where in your body does it get stuck? Um, emotion. Do, do, do. Colour and shape. So it is usually the thing that comes to mind. Not everyone's very good with the whole visual stuff anyway. Um, it, so it literally, if you can't visualise, it really is just a case of, you know, closing your eyes and the shape that comes to mind is the, the like the, the word, the name of the shape or the colour. That's just, just my, my yawning reminded me, this is not, the yawning is not my being tired with the live stream. Yawning and coughing. <laughs> Don't be scared by your cough right now um, in this session. Uh, yawning, coughing, burping, sneezing. Um, it is literally, if a word or a, uh, the word of a colour or the word of a shape comes to mind, that's what we go with. It's it, Intuitively, if the name or the word of a colour or shape comes to mind, that is that's that's what it is um cloud uh yeah what was i saying yes burping coughing sneezing uh start so right now anyone who drops in in the next like two minutes because that's how you know the delay so i'm going to repeat myself and then they can drop in the comments we are going with one to ten how bad do you feel um one to ten what is your <sighs> I know I'm not allowed to freeze. Not totally unrelated. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Numbers one to ten. Where? What? What? Uh, one to ten. How strong is the like uncertainty for you right now? Emotion um, that it is. Where you feel it in your body and a color and a shape for anyone who just happens to drop in in the next two minutes whilst I go finish going through what the tapping is that we're going to do. So yes, when we move energy through the body, we are inclined to release that energy in some way whilst doing the tapping. And that can be coughing, burping, sneezing, itchy noses, common. Uh, obviously with the release of emotion, there can be crying. There can also be laughing um, and other bodily um expulsions of energy so farting is not unusual um yeah <laughs> just rumbly bellies um anything else that's just like yeah it's just the energy shifting through the body have some water if you haven't already quickly go run some uh run and get some um if, if you're watching this on the replay and you don't have water pause go get some um get some water because it was very going to be very very beneficial right we're going to do some tapping so tapping points you start off with our set up phrase so we're going to like clarify all these feelings and all this stuff that we've just written down here here on the side of the hand just running through the points you don't need to start tapping yet but you can tap if you want to familiarize with the points familiarize yourself with the points side of the hand where we just set up and repeat the things that we've just gone through as i say numbers colors shapes emotions whatever drop in what is specific to you what it is that you're feeling right now uh, if it changes from the emotion that you've given me then use it if what i say resonates for you then use that too okay then we go eyebrow side of the eye under the eye under the nose chin collarbone you can do either side both sides if there's two sides to your body you can do either side both sides um obviously them in the middle so under your arm so it is bra strap line for ladies so in line with your nipple for you men 
not that there's men in this group, but there may be men on YouTube watch this. Um, and then I like to use the wrist points too, so you can either tap your wrist or do your wrist together. And the final one I use is the top of the head, sort of middle top of the head. And just tap around. Okay, I will forget to mention which point I'm tapping on because as I go through and tune in, I forget to say which points I'm moving on because I'm tuning into the energy in the collective that I'm working with. So yeah, it, I, I will forget. So if you've got your eyes closed, just tap as the phrase changes, tap along um, and it doesn't matter if you miss a point out, doesn't matter if you add a point in. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, we'll go and move on to Bessie Feeling Place because that's what we all want to do. Okay, so right now before we start, why don't you close your eyes and just take one more big deep, well not one more, we're going to take three big deep breaths to just feel into where we are right now. So take a nice deep breath in and let a sound out as you exhale, a sigh, it can be a really heavy sigh if you need it to be, just let an audible noise out as you breathe out and in again. Ah, let out a sigh, can be agonising if that's how you feel, and one more, ah, just really sink into that feeling that you're feeling right now, okay, and we'll start with our tapping, side of the hand, even though I have got all of this sadness, all of this uneasiness, so much uncertainty going on in my life right now. Don't know whether I'm coming or going, don't know what's up or down. There's just too much uncertainty, which is creating all of this sadness, all of this anxiety. I choose to love and accept myself and where I am. Even though I've got all of this anxiety around the uncertainty I'm facing in my life, I feel so sad about it, so anxious, I just don't know what to do. But I choose to accept myself right now where I am even though I've got all of this sadness with the uncertainty in my life I don't know what I'm going to do I just don't know what I'm going to do so much sadness I can feel it in my chest I can hardly breathe It's making me feel so uneasy. It's giving me a headache. Really, really uneasy. I choose to love and accept myself for where I am in this moment, in this space. Eyebrow. All this uncertainty, all of this uncertainty, this whole situation is just creating so much chaos, so much uncertainty, I don't know what to do, I haven't a fucking clue, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to believe, I just don't know. And I'm so overwhelmed by it all, so uneasy, I'm just so sad for whatever is happening, whatever this means for me. I just don't know. 
I just don't know. And I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. Maybe I'm a lot scared. Because I don't like being uncertain. I like to be in control. I like to be in control. And I'm not in control of any of this. So much uncertainty. So much uncertainty. And I can feel it in my throat. It's this big, big, dark grey cloud that I can feel hanging over me. So much uncertainty. Making me feel scared. Making me feel worried. And not just for myself. But for everyone else. Especially the people I love. I feel so sad. I feel so scared. I don't like not knowing what to do. I don't like not knowing what to do. I like to be in control. And I'm not in control of any of this. I need to know what I am in control of. I need to decide what I can do. And I need to find a way to do that. So that I can carry on. Because I want to carry on. I want to find a better feeling place. But all this uncertainty. I need to move it through. I need to find a way that I can let it go so that I can move on. Take a nice deep breath. Bum, bum, bum. Take a nice deep breath and let it out and have a nice drink of water and drop in the comments how you're feeling right now marvelous right we'll go through do another round of maybe relinquishing i can't speak relinquishing a little bit more of that control so that we can move into a place of feeling more peaceful about the situation and about moving more into acceptance away from control um, because that is where that's where we find peace and peace is one of the high vibration emotions um it's a good place to be when you're when they when you're facing uncertainty it's just, it, trust peace good places to be no no don't let me freeze <laughs> hopefully i'm back hopefully i'm not freezing too much um i'm hoping that this is not recording with a freeze i've not frozen in the background so hopefully that it's not um it's not frozen like properly beautiful numbers going down that's wonderful right let's go and do a second round on relinquishing a bit more of this control um to not necessarily create certainty but to create a more peaceful place um as we go forward okay so just close your eyes and sink in again to where you are right now okay take a nice deep breath in and just accept where you are right now in relation to whatever uncertainty is going on 
Okay, right. We'll get. I'll get on then with the tapping rather than waiting for you to come back to me. Uh, and I assume I'm not freezing because I'm not freezing. <laughs> okay, right. <sighs> Even though I've got to let go of control and I don't like letting go of control. I've got to let go of control and yet it's so hard to do that. But I've got to let go of control. So I'm going to choose to accept where I am right now. Choose to accept where I am. Even though I've got to let go of control and I don't like letting go of control. Don't like not being in control. But I choose to accept where I am right now. And know I'm safe. Even though I've got to let go of control, control the situation. Maybe I don't need to be certain. Maybe I can just accept the situation and allow a better feeling place to come along so that I don't need to be certain. I know that right now I am safe and I choose to accept where I am. I've got to let go of control. I don't like letting go of control. I've got to let go of control. I don't like letting go of control. I want to be in control. It's how I feel safe. It's how I've survived. It's how I've got through the rest of my life. But I'm not sure control is possible right now. The whole world feels out of control. The whole world feels out of control. My whole world feels out of control. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It contracts and constricts my throat. It hurts my head. I don't like not being in control. But I guess I have to accept some things. have to decide what it is that I can control. I can control my breath. I can control what clothes I wear. I can control what time I get up. There is a lot I can control. And I can work out how to control my thoughts too. And let go of the things that are in my head that I can't control. And find thoughts that I can control. But I don't like not being in control. Makes me feel nervous. Makes me feel apprehensive. Causes anxiety. But I need to know what I can control. And what I can be certain about. Because there's plenty that I am certain about. 
I know who I am. And I know where I am. And I know that there are things I can do. And when I find these better feeling thoughts, these better feeling emotions, this better feeling place, that's right here inside of me. When I tune in and focus on those things, I feel this sense of calm that comes over me. And when I'm in there in that place of slightly more calmness, That's where I can find the things, the places, the ideas, the inspiration, the creativity that I know will get me through this. Out to the other side. Where I can find things that I am certain about and the things that I do know. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath and have a drink of water. And do it again if you feel in the next day or two that you want to move out of neutral into something better. The the um, the energy is there in that tapping to move you through neutral and into something better for sure. Um, and yeah, and it's it's going to be here. And of course, highly recommend tapping regularly. You can't tap too often. Um, maybe you can. Maybe you can if you if you like working heavily through something, you know, you, you don't, certainly don't want to tap all day, but you can even do it like once or twice a day. Focused and uplifted. So it's like, yeah, it is. Um, do go and do something. Go, go and do something uh, that will help it tip and lift. Um, go if you can like just go and walk around the block or um, open the door and get some fresh air for five minutes, uh, drink some water, have a nap, good idea, um, and move through that um, neutrality into something that does feel a little bit better. And all those things will help you feel a little bit better, depending on what your energy levels are right now. So if you're like, need to nap, have a nap then maybe open the door and get some fresh air um if you feel like you've got energy that you'd like to move uh have some chocolate yes <laughs> um yes <laughs> don't kid about chocolate bake a cake <laughs> bake a cake yeah ah oh, absolutely Absolutely. I'm going to go and walk under some trees by a river and get some like water energy out there now. Um, and I think there's still some nice blue sky. Yeah, we've got nice blue sky outside. So definitely get some like uplifting um, and some energy going through. Drink some water. Rest. Don't exert yourself. I recommend, you know, getting outside. Don't recommend, you know, lifting a million weights or knocking down walls or building walls or whatever um, and just like let that energy shift this video is here come back and do it again 